Hi, my name is Caroline, and in this video, we're going to install VNC Viewer so that we can view our desktop from anywhere on our home network. Now, I've done this video before with a Raspberry Pi 4. Now we're doing this video with a Raspberry Pi 5 updated. We're going to use the free version, which is the VNC Viewer. Is VNC Viewer free for Raspberry Pi? Yes, VNC Viewer is always free to use. Now let's get started. The first step in setting up a VNC viewer is to know what your IP address is. There are multiple ways you can do this. Mouse over to your Wi-Fi connection and you'll see your Wi-Fi and then you'll see your IP address. My IP address in this scenario is 10.0.0.219. Other ways of doing so is to open up a terminal and you can type in host name space dash capital I and your IP address will be shown or as I like to do it, ifconfig and you'll see your IP address right here. Three different ways to find your IP address so that you can access it from your other computer. And now I interrupt this video to recommend that you reserve an IP address for your Raspberry Pi. If your router is defaulted to DHCP, that means your IP addresses are assigned dynamically. In a scenario where you have a total reboot, potentially your Raspberry Pi might be assigned a different IP address. How you go about doing that varies from router to router. I'd recommend Google searching the brand of router that you have and how to reserve an IP address. Now from here, you want to enable your VNC viewer. There are multiple ways of doing this. So I'm gonna do sudo recipe fig and that opens up some options. Now I'm gonna select interface options, which is the third one down. I'm arrowing down to get to interface options. I'm hitting the enter key and then I'm going to arrow down to VNC. I'm going to hit enter. Would you like the VNC viewer to be enabled? The default is no. I'm going to hit the tab key. I'm going to hit enter for yes. And now the VNC server is enabled. Another way to enable VNC viewer from your desktop is to click the Raspberry Pi icon, mouse over preferences, click Raspberry Pi configuration, click on interfaces. By default, VNC will be disabled. Click on the toggle, click OK, and now you've enabled VNC on your Raspberry Pi on my MacBook. Now, there were some questions about if you have to pay for VNC. We're going to use the free version, which is the VNC Viewer. But the question that comes up is, is VNC Viewer free for Raspberry Pi? Yes, VNC Viewer is always free to use. For remote access, it knows I'm on a Mac. If you're on a Windows or whatever device you're on, it will default to the correct one. Hit desktop, hit Mac OS, and I'm gonna hit download real VNC viewer. Now it does want me to create an account. You don't have to do this. I don't need VNC connect features. I'm simply using VNC viewer. Now I'm going to install VNC viewer. And when you launch VNC viewer, let me show you what you get. And now to connect to VNC viewer, you wanna type in the IP address that you just got in the last step. I'm gonna hit enter. There's gonna be identity check. Now I've already done this, so it says, hey, there's another one. That's okay, I'm gonna click continue. It's gonna ask me for my username and password. I set this up when I set up the Pi, and I'm gonna hit remember password, then I'm gonna have to do this again. Here is my desktop, and I'm gonna hit not now. Here's my VNC viewer on my MacBook desktop. Open up file manager. This is the Raspberry Pi experience on my MacBook, and I can control the entire desktop. And that was VNC Viewer with my Raspberry Pi 5. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.